Hi again, YouTubers. So this is the last one in my Makeup Graveyard series. Um, some of these have been on my blog and some of them have been videos. Um, the ones on my blog, sorry, there was a picture off. Um, the ones on my blog have been things that are smaller things like eyebrow pencils or eyeliners or lip liners or things like that. <clears throat> mascaras, lip glosses, things that I don't keep as many of. And now I am on to lipsticks. And it's kind of funny because lipsticks aren't particularly a mess. If you look, I'll insert a clip here of what my drawer looks like. Um, it just is more the fact that there's so many I probably need to get rid of. So I'm going to pull them out and get started. So how they tend to stay neat in this drawer is I have a little plastic container that holds a whole lot of them. I don't remember how many. Um, and it, I got it online, I think like Amazon or something like that. Um, it's very handy to have. So I'm just gonna get started on the ones in there and then we'll kind of go from there. I have a good amount of MAC ones. I'm gonna start with the ones that I think I probably am gonna have to get rid of um, or are getting down to not being used so much. I have an NYX in the color Frappuccino and I will try and swatch these for you guys as I go. Uh, NYX packaging and then their lipsticks are actually very very nice. It shows the color on the edge here which is super helpful and then the name is on the top. This is a swatch of that one which is actually a very pretty pink color. Um, actually it's kind of a color that I've been trying to duplicate so I might be keeping that. <laughs> I think I might be keeping more than I thought. Um, another NYX one in the color Talia. This honestly was one of my favorite colors that I had of Talia. Sorry, the lighting's a little, you see these, it's just the sun coming in through the front. Talia is a very pretty pinky nude color. Uh, then I have the color in, oh, I have another Talia. All right, so I'm gonna start a pile over here of things that need to go in my backups. I don't know why I need a backup of that. NYX in the color B52. They're so smooth and creamy. Darn it, I like all three of those. This is not working out so good, huh? All right, I'm gonna wipe those off my hand. <laughs> I have some rags here just to wipe some stuff on. Um, my all-time favorite lipstick that was around um, and has been discontinued for quite a few years was Sally Hansen's Natural Beauty, the Carmendy line in the color Sunbeam. Yeah, Sunbeam. This was just one of those lip colors that you could grab and go, and it was gorgeous and just it doesn't smell like it went bad. I really like that one. Um, all right, on to some Clinique. Anything in the green tube by Clinique is a sample one. Uh, Bamboo Pink, I used to wear this one a lot, as you can tell by the look of it here. Um, it's just a nice, pretty, shiny pink. Kind of reminds me, honestly, of like Hourglass Whisper or MAC Viva Glam, which while I'm at it, let me pull that one out and swatch it next to it. This one is pretty much gone, almost. Very, very, very similar. So if you are can't find, this is MAC uh, Viva Glam 5. And then this is that uh, Clinique in the Bamboo Pink. Very, very, very similar. And then where's my Hourglass Whisper? Hourglass Whisper, let's put that over here too. Wow, these are all very, very, very similar. Um, this is the Hourglass Whisper. MAC and um, the Clinique one. So all different price points you can get that in right there. Wow, that's kind of cool. The MAC one has a little, little bit more of a brown undertone to it. Not much. All right, on to another Clinique one in the color Glow Bronze. Ooh, another color I used to really, really like, but it is not something I would wear now. It's more of a brownish undertone. It's pretty. Lipsticks also get a weird scent when they're kind of, as I would say, dead. It's a very pretty bronzy pink, or bronzy nude color. That's going to be in my questionable ones. All right, uh, Clinique one in difficult, a different grape. Wow, I don't think I've ever worn that. I don't think I ever would, but not my thing. All right, so that has to be put away. That's to go away completely. Another Clinique one in water violet. I don't think I've ever used this and I don't think I ever would. Can't even see it. Right there. So that one's going um, going away. Some of these my neighbor's looking for a new lip color so I told her she could take a look at some of mine so I'll also let her check out all these. 
sorry, sniffles. Um, these are Clinique. I don't remember what they were called. Oh gosh, something. Oh, Buttershine lipsticks. I used to love these. This is the color Perfectly Plum, which that's the end of it. It's kind of like those, um, all those ones that are around in the drugstore now. This one honestly just needs to go in the trash. Uh, this color was Praline. I think Praline used to be my favorite one. This one's another one that's down to nothing. <clears throat> it was a really pretty peach. I don't even know if they still make those. That one goes in the trash as well. And the last one is Rum Kiss. Which is, wow, I can't even believe I used to wear this. They're really nice. Um, that one has, has some left in it. But they are not colors that I wear anymore. And three of them, or two of the three, I'm sorry, um, is pretty much gone anyway. Um, this needs to go into my glosses. It's a Dior Lip Maximizer. That needs to go into my lip glosses instead. L'Oreal. Don't have a clue of what these things were called. Eternally Nude. They were like the lip stains. They were supposed to be like the dupe of the um, YSL one. Pretty color. Don't reach for it. Don't grab for it. Going in my Donate Give to Friends pile. Alrighty. Uh, benef no, yeah, Benefit. Uh, good to go lipstick color. Oh, I used to love this color. You know what, that's such a good color, but it's like a tad bit, bit too dark. I'll keep it just, because I do, I did really love it, so there's got to be a time that I might end up liking that again. Estee Lauder, this was a sample one as well, in the color Crystal Baby. It's a cream type one. I don't, I'll swatch it, but boy, I would never wear that color. Oh, well, I don't know if I would. It's, uh, no, I wouldn't. All right. We just won't even play games with Will I, Will I? If I don't instinctually go for it, then probably not. I have some YSL lipsticks, and these barely fit in here. Um, some of these, the two of these ones that were the Volupt Sheer Candies, the numbers have worn off, I'm going to be honest with you. One says number two, and the other one I can't read. Sorry, Sniffles. One is a pink color. I don't know what. I would not. I don't, I don't think I would wear this. Gosh, that one is just, honestly, it's like a clear gloss, and that one's like, like a pink. They do smell amazing, the pink one especially. I mean the peach one especially. Um, I think the pink one I would wear. I won't wear. I'll put that in a maybe because I want to test it on my lips. Two more YSLs. These are the ones that are called Rouge Volupt. This is 26, which is a nudie color. But these are super, super, super pigmented. And the pink one is color number 29. Wow, what was I thinking? 29 I will never wear. 26 I might. 29 is going away. Wow, what was I thinking? You know, you get caught up in when people are buying things, you want to have it too. Dior uh, Lip Glow. I have a backup of this as well. It's just a lip color. You won't be able to probably see it on here. It kind of adjusts to your lip color. It's all the way over here. I don't think you'll be able to see it and it won't show up, but I do like it. Um, I think this is this is my new one, so I finished the other one. So that will stay. Uh, let's see here. NARS. Let's go on to NARS. Lipstick in the color Mayflower. Don't remember when I got this. It's a pretty color. It's a me color. I like that. Tend to forget about it. It's a small size in comparison to other lipsticks, so I think it gets lost in the shuffle down there. Uh, Bite Beauty in the color Fig. Um, I like this, but it is too pink on me. It's just too... I grab for it very, very rarely. I will hold on to it because I... Do you like it? Do you guys have any good color recommendations for the Bite Beauty ones? Because I've heard great things, but Fig is just not for me. Uh, Lancome. I bought this uh, for my wedding and didn't like it for that. In the color, color design, the new pink sheen. This is not a me color. Too bright. Just not me. That one can go away. Yeah, not me. All right. On to, I'm going to save MAC for last. Uh, this is a Dior lipstick 
in Dior Rouge 298 beige in something. It has the initials, the blue packaging. Um, it's a really pretty, just true beige, uh, very nudie, brownish pink with a uh, slight, all the colors, basically nude, brown, pink. Um, it's a, it's a peachy, it's like a nude color that has a little bit of a peachy pink undertone, very slight undertone to it. I do have a couple lipsticks in my purse too um, that I should have brought up. I have a Chanel, let's go to Chanel. I have Chanel Coco, Rouge Coco and Superstition. I also have Mademoiselle. Uh, Mademoiselle is in my purse. Superstition does not look like much swatched, but it is amazing with a great, great lip liner. Um, love that one. Uh, I will go on to, here's another Chanel. I have two of these, which are the, what are they called? Coco Shines or something? Rouge Color Shine. I have bon, 61 Bon here, and I also have Boy. Uh, Boy is the one I grabbed for more. This one is just too pink on me. Um, it just, it's just, a, it, it's fine. It's nice. I'll keep it. I do use it every so often when I'm just in the mood for a little bit extra color because it goes on more sheer on the lips. Put these MAC ones over here. Keep all the MAC ones together. Uh, this is Hourglass in the color Mural. I already showed you Whisper. Mural is one of my norm, more new ones. It is just such a pretty color. It's like great for like just putting a little bit on your lips and going all right into some these are some old victoria's secret ones very sexy i don't even think they make these anymore sweet nothing these are the square ones sweet nothing is a beautiful color like your lips but better with a peach undertone to it i feel like i had three of those yeah i did three um this one is guilty free Another one that's just, they're really pretty. I just really like these. But again, they're the size of the NARS ones. They get lost in the shuffle. This one is called G. Just the letter G. Oh, yeah. I won't wear that. What the heck was I thinking? Nope. Not me. That one's going away. That one's crazy. Not something I would grab for. Okay. I have two. These are MAC ones. All right. Um, another. Whoa. Kind of hard to keep on the Another Dior one. Dior Addict Extreme 316 Incognito. I forget about this one, but I do like this one a lot. Love that one. Forget about that all the time. Maybe I should try and organize them by color more than by brand. Just a thought. Marc Jacobs uh, Role Play. Love Marc uh, Lip Gel Rouge in the color 110 Role Play. Love his packaging. Love, love, love the packaging. Forget about this lipstick all the time, but it is a pretty color. Sorry about those lines that are coming across on my shoulder and stuff. I do really like that one, though. I um, have a sample of a Bare Minerals Moxie in Speak Your Mind. No, wouldn't wear that. That's that one over there. Wouldn't wear that. Uh, so that one goes away. Another one in the color. It's the exact same color. So I'm not going to swatch that. Um, I do have a Hourglass Whisper Backup. The refills. Because you can just refill those. So that will go over there. Um, I'm going to get on to... Let's go through... We'll go through my MAC ones next. Because this might take a while. So buckle up. <laughs> MAC 2 Mineralized ones. I have the Mineral, mineral Rich ones in Glamour Era is the first one. I love these lipsticks. I wish they had more colors of these. It's just awesome. They're amazing. These don't fit into that container though, which sucks. Then this color is Posh Tone, and this one is just, this one I love. This one's probably my more grabbed for one. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love that. Okay, just grabbing random ones. Uh, MAC Frost in Sequin. This one I have worn for years. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm going to need another wipe in just about a second. Let's throw that one out just so I don't even do that. All right. Uh, on to the next one. Oh, I hate when they write over them. On hold. Cream sheen and on hold. What was I thinking? Wow. Okay, hold on. Didn't wipe my hand off well enough. It's still got some... Oh, yeah. Nope. On hold. Not me. Ah, uh, this one is a 
what are these called? Sheer sh Sheen Supreme and Impassioned. Oh my gosh. No, this can't be Impassioned. That was a lipstick. I don't know what this, I can't read it. These are super nice. Really, really pretty. I forget. I wish I could read the color. It's got a stamp over it and you can't make it out. Oh, you have to, how do you, oh, it snaps shut. All right. This one was a holiday collection one. Quite the smooth, the, to swoon for. It's a glaze. It's a pink glaze. I would never wear that color. It can go away. See, these are ones that I kept for so long thinking, oh, I'll wear it one time. Oh, I'll wear it one time. No, I won't. Um, I don't know what I'm thinking. So, on to the next one. In the color Sandy B, it is a frost. This one is actually a very peachy cheek color, which I wouldn't think that I would wear, but it is actually very pretty, and I do like it with a lip liner. Next one is the color Cream Sheen in Shanghai Spice. I think I recently got this one. Actually, it's very, very, very similar to the other one. No, it isn't. No. No. Totally. One's frost, one isn't. Uh, another one of these type of lipsticks, the Sheen Supremes in Look At Me. Ooh, what was I thinking there? Oh no, that's not a me color. Wow. That would just be a no. Why don't they close? That one's weird how it closes. That was a no on that one. Uh, the color Syrup. Love this color. Just a beautiful pink. Love it, love it, love it. Um, oh, I hate when they put those things on. A hot Gossip. It's a cream sheen. I remember really liking this one, but I don't... No. We're just going to call on it when we can. Viva Glam 4. Five is amazing. Four, it's, it's pretty. I might wear it every once in a while. In the fall, you know, when you want a little bit more color. Alrighty. Oh, yo, yo, this might take a while. Alright, another one in... It's a matte and kind of sexy. It's a pretty color. As you'll see, the majority of my colors are very, 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 very similar. Another Sheen Supreme in the color... Can't something. No. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm, that was my MAC phase of when I felt like I had to buy everything that was new that came out. Cream Sheen and Creme de Nude. This does, does not work for me. I don't know what I was thinking. I heard so many people like, oh, you have to have it. You have to have it. It's right there. Look at that. Can't even see it. And it would just make me look dead. I'm sure it looks beautiful on other people. And that's probably why I bought it. Super sequin. Love sequin. This one's super sequin. They're just such a nice color. Such, such, such a nice color. Probably not my best day to decide to do swatches when the sun's coming in, but we'll work with it. I can't even read this. They I hate when they write over them. Tempt me. You guys let me know if that's a color. It's pretty. It's kind of dark. But it's pretty, but I won't wear it. I'm going to be honest. Eh, I might. I might. That one I might. Let me lie. Let me lie about that. <laughs> Glaze. Ahoy there. Oh, I remember liking this one back in the day. It's a pretty pink sheen. That It kind of has that lip glossy, creamy feel. MAC Pro Longwear in Unlimited. No. Eh. Wrong answer. That one can go away. Blankety. It's an amplified color. Oh, I remember. I like this one. I love blankety. I forgot about blankety. What a pretty color blankety is. I think I should do my lipsticks in color. That would be hard. I'd have to swatch everything again before I put it away. MAC. I don't know what that was. Uh, Viva Glam 6. Oops, we gotta go to this hand because that one's drying. That one's just too pink. I just don't think that's very me. Nope, thanks. Get rid of it. Okay, taupe. I think Kristen Game convinced me that, or told me about this one, or talked about this one, and it's just not me. And soft paws. Whoa, I must have had this one for a while. Not me. All right, 
goodness gracious. Another one of these um, Pro Longwear and Dress It Up. Gosh, that does not want to work on me. I haven't gone through these in so long. I love this color. <laughs> um, it's a lip glaze in Lollipop Pop Loving. I don't think they make Lollipop Loving anymore. It is just a duochrome, pretty color. It doesn't look like something great, but it's just such an awesome color. Do they still make that color? Uh, next one is High Tea. Oops, the lid stayed in there. High Tea, I obviously liked. Oh no, it's in the top. <gasps> Alrighty. Remind me to make sure that little spot on the rug is clean later. All right. It's a pretty color. I mean, it's very pretty, but it's kind of falling apart, obviously. All right, let's see here. This is another one of the um, limited edition ones, or the Real Treasure is the color. It's the holiday collection. Oh, I really liked Real Treasure. I remember this one. Really, really pretty color right there. I remember liking that one. I grabbed for that one. I used to grab for that one frequently. Again. Um, another holiday one in soft, soft spot. Oh no. That, that one's just nothing. Can't even see it. Right there. Nothing. Just stuck it on the lid, going away. Uh, this one is cream sheen, cream cup. Oh no. I remember, I, this is just not, I can swatch it for you, but it does not work on my skin. It is way too flat. Doesn't look that scary, but... Nope, and it's one of the ones that it's in the lid again, too. Eh, okay, cream sheen in fan, fanfare. This does not look like a very me color either. Sometimes I pick things up when I get the, um, what's that called? The, uh, like back to max and they end up not being my favorite things. Okay, so that emptied this out. Oh, I know what they are, those little beads because I have them in my lip liner thing there. All right, get rid of those, put that off to the side, deal with that later. Now on to the rest. I also have miscellaneous things in a thing like this and I have some brand new lipsticks. I'll start with the brand new ones. Uh, Too Faced, these are called the La Creme ones. I have Nude Beach, which I've had for a while and is probably one of my uh, favorites of these ones. So keeping that one, I'm keeping all of these. Nude Beach, uh, Naughty Nude, which is a more brown tone of that same similar one. I'll go off to the side here. That's it. And then this one is In the Buff. Those two are Naughty Nude and In the Buff are very, very, very similar. The Naughty Nude has a little bit more of a pink undertone to it. Um, we'll pull this hourglass one in peace. Very pretty color. Like it, like it, like it. Um, then I have three of the Urban Decay Revolution ones. I have the color Naked. I'm going to start on my other hand. Over here. Naked. Keeping all these because they're brand new, obviously. Uh, Love Light, which is more of a pink tone and not quite as opaque. It's more sheer. And Rush, which is definitely a darker, brighter color. But I did like that one when I wore it. So that's those. Then the, I have. Uh, two miscellaneous ones, the NARS Audacious, which is a newer lipstick in the color Anita. I love this color. It's just awesome, 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 awesome. And Bobbi Brown in the color Malt Shimmer. This one's just a fun color. It's deceiving, but it's very fun and cool. All right, so that's that. Now I'm going to get onto these little ones, and I have a feeling a lot of this is going to go away because, or get thrown away because these honestly are ones that I don't grab for. They're in the back of the drawer. Um, this is a lipstick sampler, like take with you thing. I can get rid of that. I've never used it. I've had it in there for a really long while. I have a bunch of sharpeners. I'm not going to show you all those. I'm just going to pull them out. Uh, Mac. Uh, oh, what were these called? Slim Shines in. What was that called? Missy? 
Ooh, I would not wear that. Okay, that can go away. That was easy. Um, see, it's things that I don't grab for. This is a, what brand is this? Lancome Stream Shine Shimmer number 15. Oh, that, that's actually really pretty. I might keep that one. We'll keep that. All right, Maybelline uh, Pink Petal Color Sensation. Pink Petal 125. I wore one of these for my, for my wedding because I wanted a pink, but I'm not sure which one. No, I wore a lip stain, actually. L'Oreal, what are these called? Beyond Blushing. No, 129, no idea what these are called. Anybody, anybody? <laughs> um, yeah. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. Not me. All right, so that's going over there. Um, lipsticks, unless they're like amazing, I'm not gonna, Mary Kay, I'm not gonna resell them. I don't, th I don't think people like that. I don't. Rosette. I never grabbed for this. It's brand new, never been used. Nope. Don't know how this even closes. There we go. I don't know why I just wiped that off. I haven't, um, pink, uh, I'm sorry, pink me up. Maybelline Color Sensation 045. This thing is so old, it's not even hardly swatching. That one just needs to go in the trash. There's my trash pile. Um, Lancome. Oh, what is, no, L'Oreal Endless Taun Timely Tawny. Timeless Tawny. This used to be like, like an awesome, awesome brown, like 80s lipstick. Not anymore. Rimmel. Airy Fairy. You guys remember that? Airy Fairy? That was like a big one back in the day, but... Two. I don't know. It's actually kind of nice, but I don't think I'll grab for it. So we're just going to get rid of it. Uh, Maybelline for Super Stage 14 Hour Lipstick. This is when I wanted to wear a red one time. It's just, ugh, I, I wear it once and then I'm like, oh, I, I just don't like red on me. I just don't end up liking it. Uh, another Maybelline in 112 Amber Rose. Another color that is so just hard to even get out because it's so gross. Um, Berry M Cosmetics number 136. Very pretty looking. It's very shimmery. It's right there. But I won't wear it. All right. Uh, Makeup Forever. Rouge Artist Intense 132. I think I bought this one around the time of the wedding, too. I was just looking for a pink that would stay. You know what? Oh, I don't know. That one's questionable. Put it over here. Gemma Kid uh, Makeup School Mia. Oh, I used to wear this all the time. It was a really nice color. Ooh, I do still like that color. But honestly, it's so similar to so many others. I really don't need to keep that one because it's all the way back here. Lancome Rouge Sensation in the color Lux. It is what it is. I don't wear that. Oh, another one. Uh, another one of those. It's a different L'Oreal lip. Oh, no, this one's different. Um, L'Oreal Color Riche 174 Rose Taffeta. Oh, no, 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 Lisa. I feel like just talked to myself in third person. Milani, Flirty Fuchsia. I think Miss Gold Girl Marnie wears this. this. Why did I buy that though? Won't be something I can wear. Chanel, Fabulous Rouge Allure, number 33. That one's really nice. I'll keep it on. I'll keep it. That one's nice. Uh, Lancome one here in Shimmer number 15. Is this the same thing? Slightly different. But I don't wear it. Alrighty, we're getting there. Almost done, almost done, yay. Getting there, guys. Sorry about these super long videos with these, but uh, MAC Gel, uh, what's this called? Just a Pinch Gel Blush, but I use it on my lips, honestly, just as a stain, and I love it. Can't get it closed. Uh, Colleen Rothschild uh, Lip Balm. I love the feeling of this, um, but I hate the smell of it. It smells like mint chocolate, and I don't like it. Laura Mercier uh, Shy Pink Lip Stain. Honestly, one of my favorite summertime items. 
Love it, love it, love it. I'm almost down the pan on it. It's awesome. Uh, okay, we got OCC Lip Tars, Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetic Lip Tar in the color Hush and Marion. Do I need to show you guys these? I don't know here. Oh, no, they're just making a mess. No. Um, I like these. I use them every so often, but I only use them when I really need something to stay. Stay. Sorry. Move my seat back a little bit. See if that helps. We'll move over here maybe a little bit. There we go. Um, that's not going to work. Okay, two of the Becca Lip uh, Beach Tints in the color. One's Guava. I don't remember the names of the other one. These are what they look like. Very nice. MAC Viva Glam 5. I have an extra one of these. Did I, did I say one of them was empty? All right, so I'll put that in my to be filed. Lip brush, don't need to show you that. Um, Benefit Ladies Choice Lipstick. The color is Ladies Choice. Oh, I like that. Oh, I really Shiseido RD607 Lacquer Rouge. This is a red, red, red. Now see, this is what, if I was gonna wear a red, more of a blue, blue red. I'll keep that one just in case. I'm gonna wipe it right off though, so I don't end up with red everywhere. All right, only a couple more things here, guys. Oh, and those sniffles. Um, what was this? Oh, Burberry. Number 202. I don't think I would ever wear this. I don't know. Not that bad. It's more of a nudie, like more of a brown nude. Uh, oh, I bought this Benefit Lip Balm, Lip Tint, what's it called? Lip Balm. Um, very similar to the MAC one. This one smells good though. It smells like roses. Uh, I have a Bobbi Brown, what are these called? Uh, Pop Rouge for lips and cheeks in the color Rose. I like that. I forget about these again because they're in the back. And then I have a Laura Mercier one, same type of thing in the color... Blue, what is that? Oh, Mulberry. Well, that one's a little bit darker, but yeah, we'll just get rid of that because I won't use that. Nope, that can go away. Um, all right. Let's see here. Very few things left. What is this? Givenchy La Rouge lipstick. Still in the little case. It's so cute. What is the color? 103 Braun. No. I can go to someone. I will give that to someone. It's cute, but I won't wear it. Um, ooh, these are old, 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 old. The MAC lip stains. Do you remember those? These are trash. Where did my trash pile go? Okay, okay. Um, I have three, four of the um, fresh lip sugars. I have the color Rose. I used to be in love with these. I might grab them again in the winter. I just made a mess with that one. Um, they kind of wear on me after a while. Rose is that one there. Passion is a darker one. Rose used to be my favorite. Passion can go away. I won't ever grab that one. Um, what's this one called? The color. Oh, this is just the nude one. No color there. Um, oh, plum. Yeah, I don't think I, plum's another one that I won't ever wear. Nope. I won't wear plum either. That one can go away. Um, I have a bite lip sample. The sticker fell off of it. Whoa, red. Wow. No. No, that does not work for me. All right. And then the last few things are L'Oreal Hip uh, Jelly Bombs. These were from way back in the day. Still smells good. Ooh, no. That's going in the trash. It's not, it smells good, but ugh, it's super tacky. Ooh, just gotta remember. Okay, then a uh, Tender Tone and Take a Hint. I love the MAC Tender Tones. They were awesome. They had a nice, like, sheen to them. This is Take a Hint, which was my favorite one. And then I also have another one in the color mom and it was more of a purple tone but it actually just goes on it's just so nice i wish they would bring those back bummer um i have a little sample of something that i have no idea what it is i 
can go away. I have half of one of the Blistex Revive Lip Protectants. I don't need this. Ooh, it's minty. I wasn't expecting that. Um, and then the last two things were the Napoleon Pardis, the Set uh, Lip Gloss Compact in Corfu. I used to love this, but it's so hard to think to grab out something like this. Um, I don't know about that one. And the Makeup Designery uh, Lip Gloss in the color Shine. Again, another thing that, oh, that feels gross. So that, that one's going in the trash. And that's it. So now I'm going to figure out how I'm going to organize all this and I will come back and show you guys that when I can. So I got everything organized and I decided to do it by lip tone kind of. I've got really nude ones and then kind of uh, some with the sheen to it. And then I just kind of went through and put them in a way that made sense to me to grab for them as opposed to by type. Um, I will show you everything that is going to go to my friend to play with and to see. Uh, whatever she doesn't like, MAC ones are going to be back to mac for what? Another lipstick. Uh, <laughs> and I'll show you the drawer and what it looks like. So all of this here is stuff that is not staying in my collection. It is going either to my friend or to the trash or back to MAC. This is what my drawer looks like now. I'm so excited. There's like nothing back there. And then this is so empty. It looks so much better um, and just looks clean and nice and put together. And I'm so excited. I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series of Makeup Graveyard. Uh, this is the last one. Uh, please let me know if you have any other questions. And then also I will hopefully either be doing or have already done a vanity tour. Not sure. And kind of a room tour. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.